Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. In today's video, I am going to show you two ways to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So let's get started. Our first method is using registry editor to install Windows 11. First of all, download ISO file of Windows 11. Link to everything will be given in the description below. Once you are here, scroll all the way down. From this list, select Windows 11, click on download, select your language, click confirm and lastly click on this blue button to start downloading the ISO file. The next thing you have to do is click on start and type registry editor. Right click on it and make sure to run it as administrator. Once it's open, now copy this path. I will leave the link of this entire notepad in the description below. Just copy it and paste it here. Hit enter. Next, right click on any empty space, click on new, select D word 32 bit value, change the folder name to this. Now double click on it. If the value is 0, then you have to change it to 1. Click on OK. Next, open the ISO file that you just downloaded and double click on setup.exe. And follow the on screen instructions to install Windows 11. Before I show you the second method, let's talk about pros and cons of this method. The good thing about this method is it's completely free, and the bad thing about this method is number one, it's complicated, number two, it's risky, and number three, it's temporary. The registry editor is a very crucial part of a Windows operating system. If you mess up even a single command, then you will end up damaging your computer system file and obviously you wouldn't want that, right? So don't do it if you don't know what you are doing. If you want an easier solution, then watch the second method till the end. Our second method is using a software to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. To do that, first of all, download and install the software, link will be given in the description below. After installing it, open it up. Once it's open, click on this option. From left side, select Windows 11. After that, download the first one. To do that, just click on this button, click on OK and wait for this download to complete. Once the downloading is completed, click back and now you will see this mount option under operate so click on it and wait for the software to mount the ISO file next double click on setup.exe and go through the entire installation process after going through some setup process you will land to this page now select whether you want to keep your files or not so in my case I am going to keep my files After the long installation process, Windows 11 should be installed on your computer even it was not supported before. Before trying this method, I used to get this error message whenever I tried to install Windows 11 on this computer. And now this computer is running on Windows 11. Let me show you. As you can see, this computer is running Windows 11 Pro. So yeah, that's how this method works. So there you have it guys, that is how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Please let me know which one of these options you are going to try. Which one of these options are easier for you? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. And also, the software I used in this video is not free. You have to purchase it. But the question is, will you purchase the software to get your job done? Just comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. It means a lot to me. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.